Hey guys, so I've got another tutorial today and this is going to be about creating something where you may have a tree and you you know you could have a weapon in your hand or an axe or something and you hit a tree or something like that and then items drop from the tree. I suppose it could be something we could almost swear to say it was something from Minecraft but maybe um, we'll lay itself towards if you're creating a survival game so when you hit the tree you know something falls off like an apple so what I've got in my scene is I've got my first person controller all my first person controller has this time is it's got an axe you know I modeled it really really quickly because it was only just to show you know a visual element to something and I've got a tree in my scene which I created with the tree creator and all that's got on it if it doesn't already is it needs a collider so if you want a box collider to it and just make it so it actually encapsulate the sort of trunk of the tree um, and that's all you need for that and then what you want to do is you want to actually create a prefab so a prefab of an apple or something you want to drop off the tree so what all my uh, apple is is just a sphere that I made in Unity to create other sphere and then I added a rigid body to it and uh, made sure it had a collider on it and just had made it a red colour and then all I did was right click here create then prefab named it apple and dragged it from this side onto here to make a prefab so I can you know drag it out as many times as I want and it keeps all my elements that I was after <coughs> so realistically we'll get straight into creating the scripts for this because we're going to use a, a simple bit of ray casting so ray casting just means it you know it detects the distance that you are aware from a certain point which is forward from the actual position so what we're going to do is we're going to create a script and we're going to call this hit tree and then we're actually going to create another script and call this tree script so we'll open up hit tree and I'll also open up tree script as well so whilst we're on hit tree we'll just delete these two functions for now because we don't need them well for now anyway then we're going to create a variable called tree hit set as integer equal to 25 variable distance as type float and then variable max distance as type float equal to 1.5 just make sure that's actually lowercase just for this then I'll say it will say function update two brackets then add two curly brackets and write in the if input dot get button down open brackets um, in quotes fire one which just means left click then we'll add two brackets add two curly brackets and say variable hit colon ray cast hit and then put a semicolon then we'll say if physics dot ray cast open brackets transform dot position comma transform dot transform direction open brackets vector 3 dot forward close the brackets put a comma right hit and then add two brackets to the end of that and then under there we'll say distance equals hit dot um, distance actually have that as a lowercase make sure I keep everything consistent make sure there's a semicolon and then say if distance um, is less than max distance close that then I'll add two curly brackets and say hit dot transform dot send message open brackets quotes and then we're going to actually quote in here what and function in the other script is going to be called so I'll call it tree hit and then close that up put a comma and then write a lowercase tree hit because that's going to be what damage we're applying up here then comma send message oops make sure it's send 
message options dot don't require receiver close the brackets add a um, semicolon and then under there we need to make sure we under here we need to make sure to add a curly bracket facing the one the last one that we put and also another that's facing facing the actual same way so we'll just sort of add these in there and make sure that this curly bracket here is facing the same way as the first one so you can see if you click on each of the um, curly brackets that matches up with this one and that will match up with that one and that matches the one at the top and we'll click save there so we've actually got this working now so what this will mean is that we've got a hit so every time we hit the tree we're going to do 25 points of damage it's got a variable for it so the distance at which we are from it and then a max distance so it will tell us um, and let us hit it from a certain distance away so if you're too far away you won't hit it so it's going to say that if you press left click then we're going to put a ray cast um, forward from the um, your character's position and then if the distance that you, when you've clicked is equal to the hit distance so the distance at which you clicked from and then if the distance of which you clicked is less than the max distance so if you're in range then we're going to send the message to the script to do the damage that we want to do so in the other script we'll take away these two and then we'll say variable tree health col um, colon integer equals 100 and then I'll say variable apple as type transform variable tree as type transform because we're going to try and spawn some objects then we're going to say function tree hit with capitals like we wrote in the other script and then tree hit with one lowercase then I'm going to say integer close that up add two curly brackets here then we'll say tree health minus equals tree hit so that just means that as soon as we call this function we're going to take away 25 from the actual tree health then we're going to write under here that if tree health is less than or equal to 25 then we'll add two curly brackets and say variable position colon vector 3 equals vector 3 open brackets random dot range open brackets minus 10 point zero comma mine um 10.0 close the brackets put a comma put zero comma random dot range open brackets minus 10 point zero comma ten point zero close the two brackets add a semicolon then we'll say instantiate and I missed out a T make sure you spell instantiate properly then we'll add a bracket and put a right apple comma tree dot transform dot position plus vector three in brackets comma zero comma twenty comma zero close the brackets then we'll say plus position comma quaternion dot identity close that semicolon then we're going to finally write then tree health is equal to 100 oops so what this actually means now is if we save this out so we're going to say that if in this script we manage to be in the range we're going to call the function in this script and what this does is every time we actually hit we'll take um, damage from the tree so it'll take 25 of each time if the tree health ever reaches to 25 so after three hits or so we're going to create a variable called position and what position does here is it creates a random range between minus 10 and 10 
across um, the x-axis and actually will spawn the items uh, will actually create a random position based on these random ranges so from negative 10 to positive 10 so around the world and then what we're going to do we're going to say we're going to instantiate so we're going to create an apple at the trees position then 20 uh, units above the tree which is, you know, so it's in the leaves of the tree if you're gonna, you know, create it for the game. And then plus the position that we just created here. So it would create the apple in the tree at the top of the tree and then 10 spaces around it. And then what we'll do is it'll set tree health to 100 again. So we can, you know, carry on hitting the tree and spawning more and more apples randomly around. Well, you know, every time you hit it. But watch out because I forgot one quick thing in here and that just means I forgot a little bracket at the end so make sure you save that out and we'll go back into unity and what we'll do is we will add on the first person control we'll add tree hit so we'll leave the max distance from 1.5 and then we'll select our tree and add the tree script to that now what we need to do is actually add the tree to the inspector here and then what I want to do is add the apple prefab to that and then if I keep the tree selected you'll notice that if I play the game now take away the stats because you don't need to see it you, you'll see that you have to make sure that you're sort of in the middle of your screen in the center and when we're close enough you'll notice that it went to 75 over here then 50 then 25 and it went all the way to 100 and you will see on this side that an apple clone just spawned Now you'll notice when I click all the way from over here the health doesn't change I have to be in a certain range so if we keep on Just doing this load so we're spawning a, a lot of different apples This is just to show you that the you know the fall from the actual tree itself and they just spawn in a random location then you could you know pick up the items and do whatever you want with them so that just covers the basics of doing a rare cast and you can use that for a lot of different things whether you're opening a door you know going through um, trying to do from, um, bullets anything like that but this shows you basically how you can instantiate objects in a random position when you do something and make it work you know as I say for a survival game or something like that but I think it could help a few people out so hopefully you like this tutorial and as ever if you um if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe thanks very much cheers